All right, guys. Hey, Luke here. Sorry, I know you can't see me. I got this thing propped up a little bit, but uh, so I want to show you guys how to do uh, a treadmill. Put it up on the back end so you can get a little bit of decline, even if you don't have a treadmill with a decline. So we're in our workout, my workout room right here, my, my, mine and Nikki's. Uh, but let me just show you this real quick. Sorry for the noise. My treadmill's a piece of crap, so um, I had actually ripped a fuse just to get it so that we could use it right. But the side effect is the fan keeps going. So. Uh, all right, so let me show you real quick. So what you can do is you can take a, a, a four by four chunk of wood. I would even say like a four by six piece of wood uh, just to make sure you got a little bit more stability. But I'm going to just use these yoga blocks real quick just to prop it up and show you how to actually how it actually looks. So all right, let me do that real quick. All right, so the yoga blocks are in. All that does is put the put the treadmill so that 0% is actually going to be a negative. So I've got my level. I've got my level here. And so that you can see now that I've got it jacked up, I actually got to come up a little bit to get it back to level. So what you can do is I have mine is 0% right now. So... I'll go up to 1%, 2%, it's 4%, ooh, it's starting to move. Okay, so that's it. So now at 6%, I'm back to level. So that's basically your 0%. So for me, 6% on these is going to uh, put me at 6% is my new flat, right? So I don't have to do that anymore. So now what the nice thing about that is that actually gives me the ability to go essentially negative 6%, right? So um so you can do that. So, and those yoga blocks are definitely, I'm going to say between two and three inches. So you could even do a two by four or a two by six if you don't want to go up to a four by four or four by six. And I would probably do that because you don't need a ton of decline. So maybe just put a nice stretch of two by two by six underneath the back end of your treadmill. I just say six inches wide because that gives you a little bit more stability on there. But uh, two inches thick is really maybe all that you need. So you can experiment with that. Um, but yeah, so that's all, that's basically all you do. And then you, now you have the ability. So now you have the ability to incline 6% would be my flat and then negative, I could go all the way down to negative 6%. So that's not bad. Uh, the nice thing about that too, is that you have the ability. So like a lot of the decline treadmills, they'll actually slow down on a decline, but since this wouldn't know if I'm on a decline or not, then I could actually keep my speed up. So you could actually do some pretty fast downhill stuff too. So it's just an option for you if uh, you want to go that route, um, and it's an it's an easy way to give yourself a, a decline and not spend uh, you know two three grand on a treadmill to do it. So hopefully that helps you, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye.